Hey everybody, I'm Brock Armstrong, I'm the Get Fit Guy, and today I'm sitting on the floor because we're going to talk about this um, idea that came out a few years ago. I believe it was a German um, researcher who found a correlation between your ability to get down onto the floor and back up using as few limbs as possible, that correlated to a longer lifespan. Now obviously it doesn't cause a liver longer lifespan, it is just correlated with one. And not because there's something specific about getting up and down off the floor that leads to a longer life, but the measure of the abilities and the movements, the flexibility, the mobility, the balance, all of that stuff that is included in the movement of getting off the floor and, and back down to the floor without using too many limbs, um, that is a great, it's almost like a fitness test or a, a, a movement test that you can do and it's a very simple one. And we're going to break it down today and look at how you can find out where your deficiencies are in, in doing this movement that you can then go on and shore those deficiencies up by doing specific activities to, to make those parts of your body more flexible, more mobile, more strong, more able to do this movement. So, I'm going to demonstrate it first. Basically, I'm going to start from a laying down position. So, laying down on the ground. And the idea is to get up off the ground using the fewest limbs possible and back down to the ground again using the fewest limbs possible. So, you could do something like this where you use all your limbs to get yourself into a standing position and of course back down onto the ground and laying down like this and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not here to shame anybody if you need to use a hand or two to get yourself up but the goal is to try to do it without those extra little limbs and hands and, and balance points. And if you, once you've done that, or once you get into those positions, and I'll show you how to, how to break this down. So we're just going to start right from the beginning, and that's laying down. And it's this movement here. So if that first movement causes you any, any trouble, if you need to get some hands and stuff in there, all that is doing is giving you an indication that maybe you need to work on some core strength, maybe some lower back strength. Maybe it's just balance. Maybe it's just some proprioception, being able to know where your body is in space. It may not be a strength problem at all. It may just be you're not used to that movement. So practicing this movement of getting up like this is, is an important one. So that's the first step. So then the second step would be getting myself onto, onto my knees. And um, I'm going to try, I'm gonna do it this way at first. I'm just gonna do that. So again, that's a movement. If that movement is hard for you, maybe it's some flexibility limitations that you have in your hips. Maybe it is some strength um, deficiencies you have in your quadriceps. Um, maybe your glutes, too. So that movement right there can tell you a lot about what area you need to work on as well. So then the next movement is this one. And that's quite telling right there. And in fact, that's a, a good exercise you can just practice. And of course, do the other side as well right there. So then the next step again would be here to standing. <laughs> so I know I'm cut off out of the screen, um, but then of course that's only half the exercise. So we're going to do going down to the floor now. So we're standing in a position. So the first step I'm going to do is just basically a, a reverse lunge. And that's a great movement. If you have trouble doing that one, that's a great one to practice right there. Then getting down here. Now I've got a couple of options from this position. I could go with both legs to the side and come around, or I could go like I did before and like that. So these are two different options. One required a little bit of flexibility in my hips to push over to the side, the other one to sort of splay and bring my foot forward. Another place you can look for some flexibility problems, some strength problems, or, or what have you. Then, of course, we've got our favorite final movement of laying back down. So, I hope that breaks it down nicely for you, and I hope you can find some ways to 
identify the, the issues that you have in doing this movement and hopefully you will learn to do this and it will lead to a long and healthy life. And if you don't have any trouble with this movement at all right now, you can turn this into a workout. This can be an awesome workout. Basically you just do this to the standing position, back down to the floor and keep doing that as quickly as you can. And this is a really great workout. Make sure to change legs so you're not always doing it on the same side. And I'm Brock Armstrong. I'm <laughs> the Get Fit Guy, and I will see you guys again soon.